What's going on everybody? This is boy Joe Fan coming at you. My new segment called DC and Me, where I'll be talking about everything that has to do with DC movies, television shows, and everything in the DC universe. So we're gonna get into the future DC right after this intro. Welcome back. Let's talk about the future of DC when it comes to movies and TV. DC has been a rough path until recent since the movies Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Shazam has hit the theaters, DC has been amazing. The Justice League had potential, but it lacked in a lot of elements. I'm still curious what Zack Snyder would have done in his trilogy that he had planned for the whole series, but we'll never know. Could have been good, could have been bad. We probably would have overhyped it, so it probably would have been horrible, but we'll just never know. And since hype and everything I believe the overall hype is what destroys the film in the most part for example a lot of people are so hyped about Captain Marvel and I heard it was a good movie but not a great movie I recently just saw Shazam and it was amazing <laughs> it was such a great movie I'm actually looking forward to see how they're gonna do the sequel and eventually when they start doing the Black Adam movie with Dwayne Johnson aka do you smell what the rock is the smell! What the rock is talking? Yeah, I can't do the eyebrows thing, but uh, that should be really interesting. I can't wait to see that. When it comes to the TV shows, unfortunately, Arrow is coming to an end on the CW, which I enjoy Arrow, but next season will be its last, so a lot of that's going on. So there'll be no longer Arrow. And who knows how long Supergirl, Flash, Black Lightning, any of those shows are going to last. Batwoman's on the horizon, so we're going to see how that entwines in the CW. Hopefully they do a good job. Hopefully it comes out good. The only thing I really was kind of iffy about was if you watch the crossover. I really don't want to spoil anything, but they're doing that crossover when they introduce Batwoman. The whole scenery of Gotham reminds me so much of the old Birds of a Prey TV show, which was just very, it wasn't that great when it came to the production quality. And I felt like they could have done a little bit better, like how they did Gotham on Fox. If they use that type of scenery in the CW, I think it would look a lot better to pair what I just saw in the crossover. So I'm hoping they can fix that when it comes to the actual show itself. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But even with new shows that DC Universe on the subscription services have, they've been stepping it up. The Titan show was a great show. I enjoyed that show. I actually liked it. I liked the whole concept of, you know, Robin and Star becoming Nightwing and the whole uh, Beast Boy coming into the picture and Raven and the whole storyline behind it all. And I feel like they are doing a really good concept when it comes to that. I actually really enjoyed Titans. There are other shows that have, um, they have some new ones coming up, which I'm actually looking forward to as well, which is Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing should be pretty cool. I, I'm curious how they're going to entwine that and how they're going to make a show out of that. I'm actually looking forward to it. I think it's going to be pretty good. But there are other shows like uh, that they have, that they're working on, like Doom Patrol is good, but we should go into Doom Patrol really quick because <laughs> I think... It's good, but there's a, it's lacking so much. Uh, because one, Brendan Fraser as Robot Man is kind of horrible. I mean, he let himself go. Have you seen him? Man, he's big, fat. Like, he sounds annoying, too, especially not Robot. But I don't know. Just I'm not a big fan of that Brendan Fraser cast as Robot Man. I feel like he doesn't really bring much to the table. Especially every time I think of Brendan Fraser, I just think of the Encino Man movie where, you know, he's squeezing the juice. No, wheezing the juice. Wheeze the juice. No, 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 wheezing the juice. No, wheezing the juice. You know, when he goes, I'll be back. I'll be back. So that's what I think of when I think of Brendan Fraser and just think of Encino Man, but as a robot. I don't know, it's kind of weird in my eyes. But now that the DC has great upcoming movies from this year on, I'm really curious how these movies are going to portray and if they're going to be better. So we got the new Joker movie that's going to be happening, which looks amazing. And people are like sketchy because I think why people are sketchy is because they're putting, they're like, once again, they always relate to a Heath Ledger or they'll always relate to a Jack Nicholson and they always 
compare and they don't think that Phoenix will do a good job I think he's going to do a great job especially since it's a different spin on the Joker since there's so many different earths of the DC world that it fits into a whole different earth pattern which I think is great because you could go that extra route because you, you know who knows what earth they're actually going to be on but they don't have to mention that because if Phoenix pulls this off and he does a really great job as Phoenix they can entwine him with the newer movies that they have planned coming out, such as maybe Birds of a Prey. And I know there's rumors speculating if it's going to be maybe a cameo by him or if it's going to be a cameo by Leto. I wasn't too fond of Leto in Suicide Squad. So, um, I mean, it was alright, but it was way over dramatic and just, I don't know, this whole speculation was, it was a different Joker. I mean, it was a whole different world, but they entwined the whole Ben Affleck world and the whole Justice League world into that and that's not the Joker you would know from like the Justice League era so that's why I wasn't too fond of the whole Leto but the Birds of the Prey movie it's possible they may put Leto in there or Phoenix you know if they really like how Phoenix goes it'd be really cool but I think Birds of the Prey comes out before Joker anyway so I mean either way we're gonna see what happens but I'm excited because the future DC is looking pretty bright right now um, and I think it's smart what Warner Brothers is doing right now. They are pushing back on doing, uh, Batman and Superman movies for a while, which I don't blame them because there's so many great side characters of DC that you can turn into a movie, like what they did with Shazam, or even television shows. And I'm going to go into a list of what I think should be the future of DCs. Uh, we do know that the Green Lantern show coming out, Green Lantern movie, I'm sorry, Green Lantern Corpse. They're going to be coming out, I believe, next year. I believe it comes out. So I'm actually looking forward to that and how they're going to fix it from the mess of the 2011 version of Ryan Reynolds. So hopefully they fix that up and hopefully it's going to be a really good intake of the Green Lantern. So I'm actually looking forward to that. Um, see, and speaking of the different characters, the side characters is good, especially when it comes to TV shows. Because Marvel does that with characters you really don't know about. So <laughs> they have like Cloak and Dagger and like the Runaways, two characters, two different sets of characters that I really didn't know about in the Marvel Universe. And it was kind of good to see these characters that you, you know, you know if you leave a lot of comics and you read all that, then you're going to know about them. But for some people that don't read up all the time on the side characters, you never know. And you just, people look at it as a regular show instead of, oh, this is another comic book show. So if you push that aside, like, okay, it's not just your normal comic book shows. It's a little bit different as a different spin because they don't know those characters. It makes it unique, which I think DC definitely, definitely should do, especially when it comes to their TV shows, which is great, which that's why they're doing Swamp Thing. You know, I think that was a great idea. That's a whole different side character and they're twining that into a TV show. So I think that's a brilliant idea. Um, also, uh, I'm going to go into a list, like I said, of the characters that I think they should be on. Uh, the first character I think that would be great for a TV show, <laughs> so we're going to go right into it, would be the Dead Boys. So the Dead Boys, um, Dead Boys Detective, I'm sorry, the Dead Boys Detective. And it's basically about two English boys, one dies in 1916, the other one dies in 1990. They go to the same type of school, their spirits basically link up, and then they solve mysteries together, and, um... This, I heard it's pretty unique. I haven't really read the comics much about them, but I just read a quick little information about you know them, and it seems really interesting. I feel like that would be a great TV show to do because you have this type of supernatural feel to it, and you can entwine them. You know, with uh, I think there's a female character they team up with, and they try to solve all these different mysteries that happen inside the school. Uh, they could go two routes. They could go the uh, CW route. If they went to CW route. It'd probably be like a Riverdale. That's what I feel like. Or if they went, you know, DC Universe on their description route, it'd probably be a lot more darker and grittier. So I feel like they could go either way with that show and probably would be pretty interesting to see. So that's one characters I wouldn't mind seeing. Another one <laughs> would be uh, Dead Man. He was a famous circus performer, surrounded by fame and money. And then he, you know, he walks the earth between realms of life and death to discover the truth of his murder. So he also has the power of possession to live in, and <laughs> which I think could be really funny. So you can make that comic and dark as well. And uh, he inherits their human abilities, so it'd be pretty cool to see that, like in the TV shows, him just possessing different bodies and doing different things. So I think that could be actually kind of hilarious. But he is a kind of a darker 
character so you could also make that really dark as well too so there's two routes if you want to go with i feel like you can go with that route because of the story plot they have of that character also another great one uh this is so many so i'm just going to shout out to speed things along because i don't want to make this video really really long i'm just going to read off some names that i think they should make shows about uh because there's just so many great ones they can make so for example i think everybody would want to see would be Blue Beetle. I think Blue Beetle would be an awesome character to have if you have him in a movie, a show, anything. Blue Beetle needs to appear somewhere because Blue Beetle, I mean, that's a character I think everybody wants to see. So definitely want to entwine the Blue Beetle. But besides the Blue Beetle, there is some other ones I wouldn't mind seeing, such as, I think I'm going to butcher his name, D Demos, D-E-I-M-O-S. I know I'm butchering his name tremendously. Uh, Maxwell Lord, Lobo, which would be awesome to have, I think, as a, definitely in a movie, definitely have Lobo, Jesse, Cu Jesse Custer, Hinterkind, Morpheus, and The Phantom Stranger, I think The Phantom Stranger would be a great television show to have on the DC Universe, uh, these are just some of the characters I think should be involved more in the future of the DC world. So what do you think the new outcast DC character should be to help create the future of the DC world. So instead of you just your Superman, your Batman, your regular characters, get outside the element, come up with the other elements to make it bigger. Just like I said, just like Marvel has done with Luke Cage and Jessica Jones and the Runaways and, you know, Cloak and Dagger. All those side characters that, you know, make something different and unique. And I think DC has so many great characters if they made them out of the loop. I mean, look at the Watchmen. When they made Watchmen, that was a hit movie. And that was one of their characters that just wasn't as big as you would think in the DC world. So there's so much routes you can go. So what do you think should be the next DC future character, you could say? And I want to know in the comments. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this video and want me to do more DC segments, I would love to go further and deeper into DC. This is just more like a pilot video, you know, talking about the future of DC in general. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I hope to see you guys again real soon. Let me know if you want to hear more of these because, once again, should I do more of these DC in me's segments? Because, like I said, I love DC and I love talking about them. So, let me know what you guys think. And I hope to see you guys around soon. Later. Peace.